What can I do with this brand spanking new AMD 1800X 8 core CPU? Well, I could be a complete Linux geek and see how quickly I could compile the kernel. <laughs> but who does that every day? No, let's see some more everyday tasks. So how about ripping an entire CD album in 12 seconds? Each track is converted by one CPU core at a time, or thread of a CPU core at a time. So in theory, I can convert 16 tracks at once. Nice. Ripping a DVD? Maybe not so common these days because of Blu-rays, but yes, I can do that quite easily on a Linux system. So how long did it take? Uh, well, it says it took 15 minutes. Nope, my entire video was recorded in eight minutes. Rendering videos in KDN Live? Well, this has certainly been a speed boost for me. For this eight minute video, I would have expected rendering to be done in six to seven minutes on my old CPU, an AMD Hexcore 1100T. So the time on this 1800X, uh, just under two minutes. Nice, that's a speed boost there. So how about something more practical? Gaming. Well, I've never grown up from gaming, so a uh, quick one it is. Yeah, this is far too much CPU for this game. But I have to say, the recording is a lot easier now, because it did lag a bit on my old CPU. So all in all, I have to say the advantages for me are mostly speed, and perhaps more secondary is the cores. Overall, the entire system for KD Neon, which is based on Ubuntu 16.04, does feel a little bit faster. More applications can execute in one go with the additional cores, as proven by the number of virtual machines I can run. And this is a staggering amount. Uh, I've lost count here. That is a lot though. And memory usage, I still didn't top out the 32 gig. And I've left myself room to upgrade to 64. That may be a bit of an oversight at this point. But yes, uh, running virtualization should be a bit faster, more responsive, and perhaps there'll be less comments about, oh, that Linux system looks like it's lagging. Well, it doesn't look quite so laggy now. So while the 1800X will run in Ubuntu 16.04, which I have to say is actually quite surprising considering the CPU came out in 2017 and the operating system came out in 2016, which is never a good way to run it without additional drivers, but yes, it does run. I have manually upgraded the kernel now to 4.11.3. It didn't really make a huge amount of difference on the CPU speed, but I do believe that some additional components on the motherboard are now reachable, because perhaps that's where some of the drivers are missing. I'm going to try out Kubuntu 17.04 at some point to see how that runs, because in theory, it should run a lot better with this CPU and hardware, because the hardware will now predate the kernel, whereas with the stock version of the Ubuntu 16.04, the software predates the hardware, and that's not good. But I'm certainly really chuffed with my purchase, and let's see how much more fun I have with it in the future. Thanks for watching, see you all later.